and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you someone that is just like pretty next level. I got a chance to connect with her and actually co-present a, uh, a webinar with her, which was just outstanding. So guys, y'all give it up for none other than Kendall Pretzer. <laughs> Hi, Kendall, good morning. Hey, good morning. Can you hear them clapping for you? You got <laughs> quite the fan thank club. You. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Kendall, thank you so much for joining us today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. I want to give you a chance to introduce yourself a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be invited. I'm Kendall Pretzer. I am the CEO at Grace Hill, and I have had a long history in the industry. I started out with um, management firms. I've been with several, um, R&B commercial management, um, Trammell Crow Residential, Gables Residential, and then Security Capital, which is Artstone, and then started my own business, um, the, the Strategic Solution, and we were um, had the product policy partner, and then I sold it to Grace Hill in 2018, and that's how I got to Grace Hill. So wow. I've been a little bit on both sides of the fence there, and then I am been married to my husband, Fred, for 33 years, I think. And uh, yeah, that that deserves applause. <laughs> no, he's a great guy. I'm teasing. Um, and I have two kids that are in their twenties, and um, I just got a new kitten for Christmas. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's a little bit about me. That is incredible. What a journey! I mean, going from all of your experience in the multifamily industry, and then starting a company and selling the. Just what what an experience that you know people can look up to and be inspired by the things that you have done, not only in your career, your professional life, but one, your personal life and being married for over 30 years. What an incredible accomplishment and getting a kitten uh, <laughs> recently. That's that's a huge accomplishment as well. So, you know, Kendall, you are one of those leaders that, you know, are, are inspiring. And I know there's a lot of people that look up to you. And in fact, you were referred to me uh, from someone that I had um, had a, as a guest on the show before. So I always like to connect with these incredible leaders, take a peek behind the curtain to see what inspires these incredible leaders. And so I reached out to you and I asked you, you know, what inspires you? You came back with three incredible topics that inspire you. And I want to get right into it. The first one that you shared with me, which I personally really, really connect with is people who love what they do and work hard to be good at it. What a great statement. And I think that's, that is a truly powerful statement. So, so Kendall, share with us what that means and how that inspires you. I know that was when you asked me that I had to think about it for a minute about what inspired me, but you know, I am always impressed and super in awe and love to hear the stories about people that really are, you know, passionate and like what they do and then feel like they're never, they've never arrived. You know, mm -hmm. I am constantly, you know, they, they, they say I'm constantly learning or I'm looking or I'm attending something or I'm listening to somebody who knows more about that than me. You know, people that um, you know, think they know it all or think they've learned or think they, you know, that sort of thing. It's, um, you know, I'm always, I used to, it used to annoy me. Now I still look at them and go, interesting that you think that, that you know everything. <laughs> and, you know, you're telling me a little bit more about yourself. So I'm just, I'm always just so, um, it, you know, so uh, willing to listen to people's stories and what they, their journey about how they want to be better at their craft, whatever that is. It, sports work art you know any i mean it could be anything big or small and so it's just fascinating to me and i'm you know again super inspired by that oh my gosh that is so incredible and and you know kendall one your story is absolutely incredible because i i have to agree because i think we when we're all taking steps to get to that next level it takes each step to get to that next one takes a a some learning, some growing, some growth. Yeah. And when you have that growth mindset to get to that next level, I think that is truly inspiring. And and Kendall, your story, I, I would love to dig into your story to kind of really, you know, hear and 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 you know understand how you got to each of these different levels. Right. Uh, but I can see where you know, a person that is constantly trying to grow, they have a growth mindset, uh, is inspiring. 
I have to agree with you. I think that's probably one of the most inspiring thing to um, to recognize in someone uh, to have that growth mindset. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, I think we most people do not start. You know, you're a little kid. You go, I want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Okay, those kids know what they're doing and they know their path. And I'm going to med school or I'm going to, you know, law school. But you know, the rest of us. You know, sort of, kind of go. Well, I'm not sure what I want to be, and you know, and I've told my own kids this as they're sort of getting, you know, when they got out of college, you know, my son particularly, my daughter, you know, is a interior designer, so she went to work for an architect firm, and you know, again, had a more technical path. But those, the rest of us are a little bit like the journey kind of finds us, and you know, you go sort of step to step to the next, and everything, as I tell my kids, you're sort of gathered, you're putting arrows in your quiver. And you're not exactly sure what you're get, what you're going to, but you're gathering all these experiences and these skills and these, you know, uh, mentors and information and education all along the way till you get to the some point and you're like, wow, look at all these things I've gathered and this is helping me do the job or where I am today or the art or the music or whatever it is. So. Oh my gosh! I think Kendall, what a great quote. The the journey finds us, and then we add those quivers mm-hmm. into you know, and those and those quivers are the experiences. What a great statement, Can I Guys, y'all 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 make note of that one. That one's you fantastic. You don't hang around with the with good people, then. You say that to all the girls. <laughs> no, I don't. You got some great <laughs> stuff there. I so appreciate that. Kendall, you shared a, another um, inspirational piece that I I think is very. Uh, valuable and worthwhile. And it's got a lot of merit to it. The What you shared that inspires you, the second thing, is people who are passionate about a cause or people. So share with us what that means, one, and how, how that inspires you. Right. Differs, differs a little bit from the first thing. You know, the, you know we all have seen and heard people who um, volunteer or they volunteer for a cause or for, you know, helping kids in, you know, a certain demographic or geographic or scenario, that sort of thing. And so once again, it's interesting to hear why that cause speaks to people mm-hmm. and then what, in, what impact they're making in their community. You know, one of the things we did this year at Grace Hill is we we asked our customers to nominate somebody in their company that was making an impact in their community. So it wasn't like I'm, you know, they this maintenance person did a great job. It was mm-hmm. this maintenance person started a foundation or started a, you know, volunteered something, and we recognized three winners and gave them money. And we're going to do that wow. every year. But it's fascinating to hear these people about what what it is that sort of what was the catalyst that made them be interested in that. And then, you know, how they're living that out, because, you know, we volunteer, volunteerism is super important. There Mm -hmm. are not enough volunteers to go around of all the amazing causes. And, you know, I say this to my kids when they they start talking about some issue that they think, you know, somebody else should solve or the government should solve (laughs) or, you know, big corporations should solve or whatever. And I was like, well, are you volunteering for that group? Are you helping them? And, you know, they're a little bit like, "Ah." you know, (laughs) I was like, well, be part of the solution, you know, if you want to, because because then you not only learn about the cause, you learn a little more the intricacies about it, and then you're mm-hmm. really doing something to help it. So once again, all that, just how people make an impact in their community. Yeah, and I agree with you. I think when when people volunteer, you know, that, that shows generosity mm-hmm. of their, you know, who they are. And I think, I believe that speaks a lot about their character, mm-hmm. where when somebody is willing and wants to, not because they're told to, but they feel a calling to to volunteer, to be generous with their time, talent, treasure, that that speaks a lot about their character and they're adding value to wherever they're at. Right. Um, and, and I think that speaks volumes of who that person is. Right. Um, and I can see how that inspires you. And, and, and I, you know, I see people volunteer yeah. all around you, but there's still, like you said, there's not enough volunteers around. Right. Um, so if you want to develop your character, volunteer. That's right. And, well, and, and you can find whatever cause you want. If mm-hmm. you know if it's children or animals or environment or whatever, there's there's something out there that needs time and attention. And you know, it's nice to kind of step out of our daily routine and and do that. So yeah, I'm a big proponent. Yeah. 
I love that. And that, you know, generosity is, a, is, is amazing. And, and I really think that when you go out, step out of your norm and you volunteer and you give of your time, talent, and treasure, that that builds a skill set mm -hmm. that you can take back to your personal life and your professional life as well. Yeah. So hands down. hands down, there's mm -hmm. not often a hierarchy in volunteerism. And so, you know, the person that, you know, may or may not be qualified to have some sort of leadership role is doing that. Yeah. And, you know, that's a, and you're exactly right. You learn all kinds of skills about how to deal with that mm -hmm. and then bring that back to, you know, work or your other life or whatever. So it's a, it's a very great, not only the cause, but also getting along with people that, aren't aren't necessarily like work you know work goes that way you get promoted because you're better at it volunteers yeah. you just got in that role because you volunteered for it there you go there you go and and when you're generous you typically get more than you give mm -hmm. so when you're volunteering you're learning these skill sets you're learning these you know opportunities to do more and be more right it just it adds up so yeah. go volunteer take it yeah. from kindle go volunteer <laughs> somewhere i promise you it's great yeah, stuff exactly. So, Kendall, the third thing you shared with me that inspires you, and um, I, I like I like this too. I think this is pretty cool. Time in nature. Mm -hmm. So, what does that mean for you to be, you know, spending time in nature, and how does that inspire you? Right. Yeah. I I did not. I was not raised on a farm. I was a city <laughs> girl. <laughs> my uh, my yeah. We never camped. I never did any of that growing up. But I was a tennis player. And um, played all through, you know, middle school and high school and, you know, just was outside a lot. And I think that started it where now being outside really is, you know, it's relaxing. It's um, it helps you sort of get out of whatever it is you're thinking about. It gives you a new perspective, mm. you know, just looking around at the beauty that, you know, our God has given us and, it's just another way to sort of reset, relax, energize, that sort of thing. So I like to do anything outside. I like to watch sports, do sports, hike, walk, walk my dog, you know, anything to be outside. And just, I was in, I happened to be in uh, California yesterday. It was around the UCLA campus and Ooh. I put my tennis shoes on and just walked around for 30 minutes looking at the buildings and the campus. And I just thought of all these college kids and you know, <laughs> just what, it was just nice to, be outside and just take mm -hmm. a little minute. So that's, um, you know, and I think for me, I live in the city and there's so much city around us that we sort of sometimes forget mm -hmm. so sort of stop and look around and breathe in deep. Oh, that's, that's so true. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me, it, getting out and kind of resetting your, your filter, your perspective mm -hmm. and time and nature for you allows you to, to reset and kind of gain a a new perspective because in the city you have one and then you're resetting right. it when you get out into the nature <clears throat> and i and i also believe that awareness is is a big component of that um and i, and I love that you have that because you know just you as you mentioned going out to the college campus putting on your tennis shoes walking around and just looking around and having awareness of your surroundings mm -hmm. is such a powerful reset for us yeah it is it, and, 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 and I love that you also started just kind of your imagination of, okay, what are these college students going through and, you know, how are they experiencing this college experience? And, you know, and, and I truly value, I believe there's value in just getting out of your environment, entering into another environment, whether it's in nature, um, and just experience that, have awareness of your surroundings and start, you know, thinking about what what could be happening in that space mm -hmm. and that really does open up and it gets your mind thinking about new things and new ways and you never know you may come up with a new idea <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> exactly oh, right i love it kendall man th this has been so much fun talking to you um i, I just i've loved just you some great quotes uh you're you know it, it's just been so good your journey finds you come on now so good. Hey, I want to, um, uh, but we're getting close to the end of our time, but I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought before we wrap up. Sure. Well, 
first of all, I would say thank you for having me. Um, secondly, my, my little PSA. So I am also a breast cancer survivor. And I would tell, you know, all the women out there to go get their um, mammograms and get checked. That's how mine was found. And I will also tell you there's a link between prostate cancer and breast cancer. There's a gene. So if you're a guy, you have prostate cancer, you know, the women in your life may also have that gene. So go do that. Um, pay attention to that. And I would just say, you know, keep, keep, keep moving forward, keep charging, keep looking forward, keep looking around, keep thinking about what else, what else do you need to know, want to know, what are you curious about? You know, let curiosity drive you and help you learn and be better at whatever it is you're trying to do. Wow. So good. Keep on guys. Keep on. Don't stop. Just keep on. Right. So many great things from you, Kendall. I can't thank you so much. Guys, make sure you go check out the Grace Hill website. There's a lot of valuable content on there. Um, so make sure you check it out. I'll put the link in the show notes for you to connect there. Um, go connect with it. Kendall, thank you so much for, for being a guest here on the Super Fantastic thank Exchange. You. Guys, make sure you check out Grace Hill and we will see you on the next episode. Thank you so much. Thank you.